Hey guys, welcome back. In the last video, we completed the modeling for this X and today we are going to texture it. So let's create a document and import our mesh. I'm taking the resolution 2048 and let's import our X. Now go to texture set settings and bake mesh map, select your output size and use low poly as a high poly mesh. Increase anti-aliasing. We are not using any ID map, so deselect this one. Go to ambient occlusion and increase the rays to one to eight and hit apply to all. Now click on this bake selected textures. So our mesh maps are baked, hit OK, go to texture set list and let's rename these meshes. This is wood and this one is metal. Now delete this empty layer and go to your smart materials and you'll see this wood beach, drop it in the layers. Go to the base wood and make it a little bit more darker. Go to grunges and increase grunge opacity to 0.65 and grunge scale. to 5 open the dots and increase the dot style to 8 and also this dark dot style to 4 now select this mg dirt and increase the opacity to 50 now select this wood veins Click on this black mask and select on this wood pattern. Increase the amount to 0.35 and just a little bit of thickness 0.15. Decrease the length to 0.2. And uh, warp to 0 0.25. Go back to base wood and make it a little bit more darker. Like this. Now go to texture set list and select this metal. Go to layers and delete this empty layer. Now in your materials search for iron and you'll see this iron row damaged. Drop it in your layers and make it a little bit more darker. Like this. Increase the roughness to 0 0.5. Now let's take another fill layer and disable color, roughness, metal and normal. Add a black mask and in this black mask add this fill and search for grunge, large and you'll see this uh, grunge galvanic large. Drop it. Now go to your fill layer and decrease the height to minus 0 0.05 and change the projection of this grunge map to triplanar 
also scale to 2 now add another fill and search for scratches add this scratch change the projection to cry planner and decrease the width and height to 0 0.9 and width to 0 0.35 Now add another layer and drag this on the top of this iron row damaged. Now disable roughness, metal and normal. Change the color, make it a little bit dark like this and height to minus 0 0.02. Add a black mask and add a generator. Now select this metal edge wear. Increase the contrast and well level. Maybe change the color a little bit more. Make it a little light. Like this. Now add another fill layer. And this time disable color, roughness, metal and normal. Add a black mask and add fill. And in this fill search for noise. And you will see this 3D Perlin noise fractal. Select this. Go to your fill layer and increase the height value to 0.02 or maybe 0 0.05 let's turn it down to 0 0.04 and go to this Perlin noise increase the contrast to 0 0.1 now add another fill layer and this time you are going to add some dirt so disable height metal and normal increase roughness to 1 and add a black mask then add a generator and select this dirt Increase contrast, use tri planner and decrease dirt level to 0 0.65. Let's change its color. Like this. And now let's go back to texture set list and select this wood. On the top of this wood material, let's add another fill layer and disable height, metal and normal, increase roughness, then add a black mask and add a generator. Select this dirt and now change its color. So our X texturing is completed. So our X texturing is completed. You can export these texture and render this in Unreal Engine or Marmoset Toolbag. So that's it for today. And if you like this video, then subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.